and welcome to Broken Entertainment. So I had this video done talking about The Flash and saying, you know, we'll see how it works out when it gets into its second weekend and, you know, it was off to a historically bad start with only $55 million over the first weekend. And then before I could get around to editing it, we found out more information and it's just kind of spiraled into a trash pile from there. And, you know, I had intended to do a review on it. I may still do a review on it at some point. I know how it ends. I know that Michael Keaton is not really actually in it very long. And I don't really want to watch Ezra Miller for that long. So I, I may, may put that on the back burner for a while or I may just not get to it. Um, it it kind of depends. I, I'm not a big fan of watching something just for the sake of it. And I prefer to do reviews over things I watch because I thought it would be interesting or I wanted to see how it turns out and you know certainly get some stuff from that that I don't like, but I get some stuff that I do like and it's nice to not have every review be like, oh look at the latest terrible thing that Hollywood did. So. It's something I try to focus on. If you want me to do the review, uh, let me know in the comments down below. If enough people want to do it, I can I can submit myself to almost three hours of Ezra Miller, I suppose. Um, there's I think there's a lot of factors playing into this collapse. You know, Ezra Miller, big part of that, the fact that before it came out, people realized how little Michael Keaton was in it. Big part of that. And, you know, the fact that people know that, hey, they're going to reboot the DCU, so none of these DC movies matter. And I think, um, as Blue Beetle and Aquaman 2 come out, we're going to find out how much of an impact that played on The Flash. Because if one or both of those movies can do okay, or reasonably well, then maybe it was just the Ezra Miller thing and, you know, uh, feeling misled on the Michael Keaton situation. But let's look at these numbers. I mean, they're really historically bad. We could be looking at one of the worst bombs of all time. Uh, certainly the one, the worst superhero bomb. I, I mean, I think it's already got that in the bag. Just about. You know, if you look at it over its release weekend. Okay. Um, Friday. $24 million. That's, you know, not great. And then it drops 35% for one day to Saturday. Uh, and then Sunday it kind of held even. And then Monday, um, where some people were off work for a holiday, it dropped 59.9% and only brought in $6 million across 4,234 theaters. Not great. Then you see it continue to drop. And the big news is... On Friday, it dropped over the previous week on Friday 81%. Bad enough. Then Saturday dropped 60% from the previous Saturday. And then it dropped 70% from the previous Sunday. And then it dropped 72% from the previous Monday. And 50% from Tuesday and 49 It just keeps going down. And not going down a little bit, but in giant numbers. And they've even added theaters. Not, not a whole lot. Less than 30, but they've even added theaters and it's still dropping. And you're down to a daily, as of Wednesday of this week, of less than two million dollars this thing is going to be catastrophic and look at the total numbers 93 million domestic it has even breached a hundred million dollars domestically it's at 123 internationally so you're looking at 216 million dollars on an absolutely absurd budget not to mention delays and reshoots and everything that's not actually being factored in the budget you know, this thing needed to breach close to a billion dollars to make, like, a, a dollar. As it was, by the time you factor in marketing and all that. Total, total disaster. What do we make of this? Well, the DCU has a big problem. Because they're bleeding out fans. Hard. And you can hope, oh, it's because 
they're going to reboot. Hopefully that's all it is. Um, I don't know, man. You know, they've got their new Superman and Lois cast. They look fine. But you've got, what is it, four or five movies coming out? They're all bad? <laughs> or they're all going to be received poorly? You know, nobody... I've, I haven't heard one person talk about Blue Beetle. You know, there's a that's an E-list character at best. There's a real possibility, I think, if these movies all lose money, especially if they do it in a big way, okay? If they all lose money in the ter- tune of $100 million plus million, which this movie will easily surpass, losing two, maybe even $300 million, it's going to be ugly. If the, the next five movies all do that, and then the Superman movie, which is the first of the new universe movies, if the Superman movie comes out and doesn't do very well, they might cancel the whole thing. And, I, you know, how do you blame them for that? How do you blame them for that? I, I don't know. This superhero thing looks like it could come just crashing down. Marvel's not doing very well either. And if somebody doesn't find a way to turn things around, the the whole superhero bubble might finally pop and do it fast. Like, way faster than we expected. We could be talking about a year. You know, this is a disaster not just because it's bad for this particular movie. It's bad because the movies leading up to it also lost a bunch of money. So you're looking now at a trend. And if that trend continues, what do you got? You know, let's say they come out, let's say they come out with Superman, and let's say it makes $50 million over its budget. Or make, brings in a profit of $50 million, we'll go there. That's still not much. And you've got this record of these five or six or seven, I think, if you count, go back to uh, Black Adam, by then, movies that have come out that have done poorly, what's the incentive to continue if the movie that does well only kind of does well? You know, what What if you're looking at a Guardians of the Galaxy 3 scenario where it comes out, and yeah, it did fine, it did reasonably well, but at this point, can Warner Brothers afford reasonably well to start their new universe? I don't know. I don't think they can. I think by the time this is all said and done, if these all fail up to the new Superman movie, and the Superman movie only breaks even or makes a little bit of money, I, I think it, they might just pull the plug. Unless there's a bunch of stuff that's really far along. I mean, they haven't even cast Batman yet. You know, these projects they've announced can all be canceled. Look at Batgirl. Batgirl was done, and they canceled it. So I, I think... You know, I think everything in DC is is pivoting on a knife edge. You know, Warren Brothers is in debt. They they can't just keep losing money. So we'll see what happens. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you are not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Ring the bell for notifications, and I will see you next time.